We began our Lenten journey on Ash Wednesday, a time for prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Today, the first Sunday of Lent, the temptation of Jesus in the desert shows us how prayer and the Word of God help us in staying centered in our identity as God's beloved children. In the face of the temptations and challenges that seek to undermine our trust and belief in a loving God, prayer and scriptures help us to remain steadfast in our faith. Now, let's take a look at these temptations, the three temptations according to the Gospel of St. Matthew. The first temptation of Jesus is that of bread. And the devil is really saying, if you are the Son of God, then you must be full and satisfied. You must not be hungry. Otherwise, it is not true that you are the Son of God. But then Jesus chooses to focus instead on his hunger for the Word of God. And in fact, Throughout the Gospel of Matthew, we find Jesus feeding God's hungry people with both physical and spiritual food. The second temptation is that of jumping off on the top of the temple. And the devil is really saying to Jesus, If you are the Son of God, then God should always keep you safe. He should always keep you from all harm. Once again, Jesus turns to the Word of God reminding that you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And so in this manner, Jesus counters the falsity of the devil's assertion. With the third temptation, the devil directly proposes to do away with God, urging Jesus to seek instead power and glory. The devil is really saying to Jesus, free yourself from God because this will bring you good results. Why do you wish to be the Son? What benefit is that to you? And once again, Jesus turns to the Word of God to overcome the temptation of the devil. And then Jesus utters the command, Get away, Satan. And the devil leaves and disappears. But not for long because the temptations come back again and again as variations on the same theme. Midway through the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus once again says, Get behind me, Satan. And this happens when Peter tempts him to reject suffering as an integral part of his identity as the beloved son. And towards the end of the Gospel of Matthew, as Jesus hangs on the cross, the passers-by echo the words of the devil in the desert. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. The scribes, the elders, and the chief priests also say the same at Calvary. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him from the from now for if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. Yet again on the cross, Jesus turns to the Word of God and to prayer in order to be firmly grounded in his identity as God's beloved Son. On the cross, Jesus utters the first few words of Psalm 22. And this sustains him throughout the gospel. Prayer and scriptures are our weapons in times of temptation. The final verse in today's gospel is truly a consolation for us. Just as God's angels accompanied Jesus during this ordeal, so too we are never abandoned. We are never left to ourselves in times of temptation and trial. God bless you all in this Lenten journey.